After more than a year now, cars are crossing the Roebling Bridge. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. The lanes reopened this morning following months of preservation work. Reporter Marielle Carbone is live in Covington. Marielle, it's sure nice to hear that rumbling back again, isn't it? It is, and you know, that sound you only hear on the Roebling it's here. Now the bridge, it was supposed to be closed for about nine months for those preservation efforts, but it ended up being delayed more like 14 months. Businesses here in Covington tell me they are just so grateful it's back open to traffic. Listen closely and you'll hear the song. The two sing the Roebling, a song that brings a smile to businesses nearby. Our owner, Richard Hunt, is gonna be beyond thrilled. <laughs> Emily Webster is the book specialist at Roebling Point Books and Coffee. For a shop that dons the bridge's name, the closure had a big impact. There are lots of cars that would normally come right down Greenup Street to get on the bridge that have been turning the block before, so haven't been seeing our store. To celebrate the reopening, they'll soon be pouring out a special roast. The Roebling reopens revival roast. The bridge was closed to cars for more than a year as crews renovated and preserved the 155 year old bridge. During that time, cars were rerouted over the Clay Wade Bailey and Taylor Southgate bridges. You're missing out on a lot of the traffic that goes across that bridge because they have to go across the other bridges. And it just John Bumgardner with the Butler's Pantry uh, says the reopening also makes it easier on employees. Ones that live downtown, they can get to work fast. And at the Groff, which sits beside the bridge. I think it's definitely going to bring in a lot more people coming over. So we Server and bartender well, Jillian Caldwell think. says the return of the familiar tune helps to tempt tourists into taking a seat at the patio. Anytime we have visitors and stuff like that, they get really excited. They love looking at it, and then I'm like, oh, take a walk over it. Now, the renovations aren't completely done just yet. There are some repairs that require warmer weather. So uh, when they're able to and those do happen, you can expect some lane closures here on the bridge. Reporting live in Covington, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.